Matt Ogle with Vite Media. I'm here with the big three of this awesome matchup between Lake Creek and Foster. Tell me, I mean, let's start with Allison, elephant in the room. I mean, you were the icing on the cake of this game, that grand slam. What was going through your mind as soon as you hit that ball? Um, well, I haven't really hit an outside pitch well the <laughs> last game. <laughs> and she pitched me out, and I stayed with it. And I like looked at it, and I was like, no way, that's going out. <laughs> I was just so happy. <laughs> Like you said, that's the best way to end it, getting that <laughs> four runs. Uh, Chesney, you moved over from the Woodlands, as you just told me. You're a Texas State commit as well. Uh, tell me, how has the transition been moving over from a huge S, uh, SA, 6A, 6A powerhouse like the Woodlands to an equally successful 5A powerhouse in the Lake Creek industry? It's been really good. Um, Coach Cooley, Coach Carter, and Coach Simmons have really made me feel very welcomed, and so have all the girls. And it just really makes me feel very excited about this year, and I'm so glad that we've come so far, and we definitely have a lot more to come. Yeah, I mean, that's very true. You'll have probably, I don't know if the game's been decided yet, you're going to be playing Barbers Hill or Lake Belton. It's Lake Belton. Yeah. It's Lake Belton? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. that is a big shock in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Sarah, you and Chesney kind of alternated in pitching. You pitched first, Chesney, and if I'm not correct, yes. And then, Sarah, you came in and was like the relief pitcher for game three. Tell me, what was going through your mind, your mentality, as you prepared to take on a huge powerhouse like Foster? Well, I feel like we work really well off each other, so it's kind of just like getting used to it again and like just knowing like that my team's got my back and everything, and everyone's just going to like be there behind me if I'm not having my best day. How are you feeling about round five? I mean, you have the opportunity to be – one of the only schools to go to the state game, the state tournament in three straight years. And obviously all of the success this team has had in years past, how are y'all all preparing? And what's the, the mentality moving into that, in, moving into the next round? We're coming out ready. <laughs> yeah. First yeah. pitch, we're ready this yeah. time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, because um, like Coach Carter, like we've all been talking about like I feel we like come out like pretty slow because we all have like nerves and stuff mm -hmm. but we're done with that and we're ready to go get Lake Belton. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. Anything to add sir? <laughs> Just take it one game at a time and give it our all every single game. That's such an original response I gotta say. Uh, we're ready. Yes. Uh, actually I lied this is the last question. Coach Wachinski who's still here she's uh working as more of an assistant. How is how's it been kind of going into Coach Carter's uh, realm as she's the new head coach? Um, at the beginning of the year, it was definitely different. We had to learn new things. It wasn't the normal, but I think we got the hang of it now. Y'all yeah. yeah. all concur? I wasn't here whenever <laughs> she was here. I was at the Woodlands, but it's been really good with them. So As you said, the culture here is different. It's more, I guess, it's not as big. It's a little yeah. more homely feel, I would say. All right, anyways, sure. thank you for your time. What a series rep H-Town as you have in the last <laughs> <laughs> every year. Uh, appreciate your time and good luck. Thank you. Uh,